Kiev's decision to create a Ministry of Information is a clear threat to media freedom in Ukraine, said OEC representative on freedom of the media Dunya Myatovic. The government's plans have also sparked a wave of fury from journalists. Ukraine just created its own version of Orwell's Ministry of Truth, citing the classic dystopian novel 1984, said Dunya Myatovic on her Twitter account. We remember the creation of a new so-called Ministry of Information policy was approved by Ukraine's parliament on Tuesday. The continuing construction of strategic missile shield by the US threatens not only Russia and European countries, but also the United States, as it creates a dangerous illusion of invulnerability, Russian President Vladimir Putin said Thursday. We do not intend to get involved in costly arms race, but at the same time we will provide guaranteed defense capabilities of our country in any conditions, Putin added. Russia wants the Minsk process to continue and believes that all attempts to convert the negotiations into other formats without Donetsk and Lugansk taking part are unacceptable, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said in a meeting of the OSCE foreign ministers on Thursday. Today all hopes are pinned on the implementation of the Minsk agreements between the authorities in Kyiv and the representatives of Donetsk and Lugansk, actively promoted by Russia and the OSCE, Lavrov said. The chairman of Bulgaria's attack party blames the United States and the European Union for using Bulgaria as a pawn in geopolitical games against Russia. He stated that Sofia had to terminate the construction of the South Stream pipeline under Washington's pressure. Sofia's submission to Brussels and Washington leads to no good. As a result of this policy, Bulgaria could lose 400 million euro per year, Sidorov told in an interview. Meanwhile, Russian Energy Minister Alexei Novak said that Russia's decision to stop the South Stream gas project is final. In my view, the decision is final, Novak said. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.